hi guys so i just wanted to come back and go through some quick maternity outfits that actually aren't maternity they're everyday wear and you can just throw them together or on those days we're just not sure what to wear because nothing fits this is just a great video to kind of help you look through your wardrobe and what you already have and see what you can put together so i'm just going to jump into the video and the first item is just straight up baggy tee and this one says mama on it i have loads and loads of baggy tees i literally live in them because they're just easy for you to just fling on and you just tie it around your waist so it's like a little kind of crop top it just makes any outfit comfortable but you can keep it cute too the next item on mine is a staple and that is a midi skirt and i know a lot of you might be thinking well why would you wear that in autumn slash winter you can get ones of different materials this one's fairly thick you can get other ones such as this one that i have that's actually more of like a wool material it's very very warm it's very comfortable it's very stretchy the reason why these are staples is because they're so comfortable to wear they're easy to get on and you can just fling anything on top of it yeah all year round midi skirts the next on my list is actually crop tops the crop top sits at quite a decent level so that you can wear your midi skirt or if you've got like maybe leggings that come up high enough and stuff like that it just is quite comfortable and they're quite stylish so even if you've just got a basic pair of leggings or a basic midi skirt on the crop top tends to dress up the outfit Going back to something I would wear prior to being pregnant would be a co-ward set like this one. Um, this is actually from, I think it's from Pretty Little Thing. And believe it or not, this is a size 10. And look how stretchy it is. And we've got the matching top as well, which is a crop top. But when you put the whole outfit together, it just works. Um, it works as a pregnancy outfit. It's so comfortable, but you can wear it after you've had baby and still feel comfortable with that postpartum belly where it's feeling a little bit tender and things like that obviously as it is winter you have to have a good old jumper now i tend to buy my jumpers quite big and baggy anyway i just love an oversized jumper so i just kind of tucked it into my midi skirt and voila it's cozy it's warm it looks cute something that you would most likely have already in your wardrobe and wouldn't need to purchase would just be a stretchy bodycon dress i've had this for ages as you can see it's from primark um so probably didn't even cost that much this is a size 10. i will admit now that i'm getting a bit bigger it is a bit more of a struggle to fit into but i'm usually a size 10 so if that means just going to the shop and picking up a, a size 12 one more size not really going to do too much harm because after i've had the baby i'm going to want to be able to be comfortable anyway and you can wear it any time of year and lastly as part of my maternity wardrobe i have surprisingly included a lot of bodysuits i did initially think that they wouldn't fit but it's because i only have one pair of maternity jeans and so i've been buying a lot of leggings that have the thick waistband and just wearing it really low with a bodysuit kind of allows for the extra room down there so you're not showing belly without realizing that you're showing belly i would say just maybe up a size depending on how stretchy the material is so yeah guys that would be my wardrobe essentials for maternity wear but non-maternity clothes <music>